All right, guys, so we're on this um, 2J VVTi. Um, and we're going to start with the bowls first. So you can see here, I've already sort of... I'll get it in there. I've already sort of gone into the port. This is the bit we're using. This is a super aggressive uh, single cut alloy burr, as you can see there. Very, very, very sharp. It's probably not a, a newbie um, bit you'd want to try, but um, once you get a little bit of experience, you can rough them out much faster with something like this, uh, and that's what we're going to do. So we'll clean the bowl up, and then I'll uh, show you what, what's going on there. Some lube. Now we're on, ready to roll. So we're just going to do the bowl area here and here. I like to work from about there around. I'm not going to touch the short turn. I turn the head over for that. It's nice and lightly. You can see how gentle I am here with the cutter. That's just a quick rough out. Now we're going to do that six times across all these and fix all this core shift. And as you can see, and it phases from one side to the other. So as you can see, I'm knitting out this end of the head. This is the bad side.
So we've ripped through all these. We're on to the last two two ports now. And as you can see, this has got the core shift the other way. So the mold's actually that way in the cylinder head. So we won't need much off this wall or this wall, but we will need to shape or pull that wall over and pull this wall over carefully. Now again, we're still using this cutter and I'll go through a couple of pointers on how to do it. Some people like to go, I always go against the cutter, so the cutter's spinning this way, so I wanna work against it. If you go with it, you can spin the port and buzz it. Uh, some people say to go up, lift off, go up. What I actually do is pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure, pressure, no pressure, and I'll demonstrate. And your finger is your best friend, guys. Learn to feel all those little undulations in the port, right? Um, the, the, the best cylinder head guys in the world um, are very, very good at feeling. It's like panel beaters feeling dents and uh, paintless dent guys with their eyes and looking, getting the right angles. We do the same with your feel. So I can feel now I've got the bowl in the right area but now the casting lump is up in there, so I need to chase that section. You can feel that really, really easy. Your fingers are very, very sensitive to this sort of stuff. So we'll give it a little bit more. And we're just chasing it in a bit further now, blending it into the port from the bowl, the sidewall into the bowl, into the port, sorry. And little bit by little bit, don't go in ripping a cylinder head out. Just get your confidence first, and then slowly, slowly. And that's that's much better already. And now I'll chase it from the other side, so that's that one done. Now we're on to this one. Actually, I'll hit this wall as well. It needs bugger all, because it's already parallel to the seat, so we're just going to blend it. And again, this is why I like the cable drive. As you can see, the air's not buzzing away. Um, I'm nice and comfortable. This thing sits in your hand absolutely beautiful. I know these things are expensive, man, but I couldn't pour it with anything else. And actually, my bearings in the head are actually uh, on their way out, so I've got to do these. But the best thing is, this whole head comes apart. You can hear that bearing in the handle. It's a bit getting a bit noisy. Um, there's a bearing here and a bearing there, so I can actually rebuild these. But I've got a couple of brand new head handles, so I might have to dig one out. So uh, we're just going to blend that. And I'll give you a quick look at that. And that's the rough out of the seat. We're not measuring anything at this point. All we're trying to do is just align the port with, with the actual seat. So there we go guys, that's the basic rough out. From here, obviously we're gonna start measuring and I just used your uh, calipers uh, and see where it's at. But I, I can tell you now, if you once you get the feel down, you'll be surprised how close you can get it just by feel and by eye and when you go over, they'd be lucky to be 10th hour in it and just chase a few areas. But yeah, that's the start of it. If you like this, give us a thumbs up, a comment, repost, share, whatever you gotta do. Cheers.